Good evening, everybody. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having them a good day today. It's been a beautiful day here. Y'all know that's my motto, I guess, right? <laughs> Every day's a beautiful day, somehow or another. It always is. Uh, it's been wonderful out here today. This On this uh, Friday, we've been... This spring weather, y'all, we starting to get busy, busy, busy. It's just always, it's a circle of life around here on this place. So, anyway, we've been loving it outside, getting everything done, and just being productive. We like it. It makes us feel good. And, uh, and it's a good thing, too. We get a lot out of our being productive thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm through outside now, so I come on in, and I'm going to get, uh, I have got some meat going in the oven that I'm cooking in there, and I have uh, got some other vegetables in the fridge for some fresh cold vegetables that I'm going to do, but we're, we're, we got the vegetable thing going on. We're wanting vegetables, y'all, right? And I done told y'all before, Buzzard is a rabbit. He loves vegetables way, he eats way more vegetables than I do. And he just, he just loves them. He grew up eating them. And I mean, so did I, but I mean, he really grew up eating them, y'all. And uh, so, uh, this dish, I got sidetracked. This dish is a cheddar pepper squash. We call it cheddar pepper squash, y'all. And this is one of our favorite, favorite squash dishes when the squash starts coming in. Well, you know, he's just now planting squash. So I had him go pick me some up. We got to talking about it. And I was like, man. I just can't wait until the squash comes in. We got to have some of that. So that's what we're going to have for our side dish tonight, okay? Cheddar pepper squash, y'all. Easy, delicious. If you're a vegetable lover, you're going to love this dish. So uh, it don't take nothing to do it. And uh, I don't know. Y'all just see how easy it is. I've made it before way back when. So I wanted to show, since I've got so many more uh, new followers and stuff and everything, I wanted to uh, show it again. For my vegetable lovers out there, okay? It's cheddar pepper squash, y'all. Easy peasy. I got most of my stuff done here. I've got two medium zucchinis. I got the tips cut off of them. They're all washed and clean. Two medium pretty yellow squashes. I got me one red bell pepper. I got him cut in half and seeded and everything. And one large onion, all right? That's what we're gonna do for our chopping. Now, the only other thing that I don't have that we will put in this. If I had them, I'd be putting them in there. And that is some fresh jalapenos. Not the not the pickled ones, y'all. It's not the same, so don't, the pickled ones aren't the same. Uh, but if you like it uh, kind of spicy with a little bite or whatever, you would put about uh, three, you know, the medium ones. Not them big old huge ones we get at the store. But, you know, if you did those, it'd be a couple of those, okay? Anyway, however much you want in there. There's no measurement to this, but I'm just telling you how much I'm going to put in this to make a big skillet full of it, okay? And uh, and one skillet of it is plenty for a side for your family, okay? There we go. All right. Anyway, you can add you some jalapenos to this if you want them, fresh jalapenos. But because I don't, and I'm going to do, I do these anyway if I have them, I'm going to add me a little can, undrained, of the little diced green chilies, okay? Mild ones. And then the only other thing I have here is a can of Rotel tomatoes. And you can just get the uh, original. Yeah, the original on that. And the last thing we have is one eight-ounce block of grated cheddar cheese. Other than I've got some big old blobs of butter over there in my skillet. So I'm going to say about three-quarters of a stick of butter. Half to three-quarters of a stick of butter. You want a good bit of butter in there to cook up all these veggies in. All right, let's chop some veggies up, y'all. Show you how easy it is. Uh, the main thing is, is uh, that you want to, let me start with the zucchini here. I take it and stand it up on its end, go down through the middle, and then I just turn them like this, and I want to cut them in the little half moons, but you want them in the thick slices, like this, okay? You don't want to cut them like little paper thin ones. You want to cut them pretty thick. I don't mean big old huge thick, but anyway. Medium thick, is that a way to say it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to call it large cut, okay? Just kind of like, yay so. There they are, all right? 
I'm gonna put those in my bowl. Get my zucchinis cut up. Nothing to it. And when that squash starts coming in, we will have this dish more than once. But usually, y'all, when my the very first thing I do when my uh, yellow squash comes in is we have fried squash. That's our first dish out of the garden with our squash every time. Some fried squash and some sliced tomatoes on the side. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We love it. We love it. Okay. Now, on these yellow squash, let me see. I bet this little one ain't going to have no problem with it. Perfect. See, there ain't no big old huge seeds in there, right? I don't want them big old huge. Let me back it up just a hair. Okay. Um, do this, the same thing with your yellow squash, just like your uh, zucchini. Cut it in half and then do the half moons on it, all right? Kind of big cut, more or less. Because when we go to cooking it in the skillet, y'all, we're only going to want it to get fork tender in there. We don't want it to cook apart. You want it to stay in, in uh, where it's got lots of texture in your skillet, okay? If you cut them up thin, it'll just cook down, and then you won't have the bites you want in there, the texture going on with it. Okay, this one's a little bigger. Let's see if it's got any old big seeds in it. It doesn't. It's nice, but I'm telling y'all, if it's got them big seeds in it, I'll take my knife and kind of run it down in there at an angle like that and cut that out and just pull that center out and toss that to the chickens. I don't like them big old uh, squash seeds when I'm eating. Not like that, I don't. I can kind of sort of, it don't bother me as bad on the fried ones, but if they're, you know, stewed like this or whatever, uh, I don't like that. And they'll fill up your whole skillet because they come out of there, you know. So they'll be separated in it, and you'll have seed bites all in there. Anyway, maybe that's a Talifay preference, but I don't like the big old uh, squash seeds in there. Okay, there's that. Now, let's do our bell pepper. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. I'm going to take them. You want everything cut big, okay? That's why this is so easy. Turn it like that. Good big bites. And it don't matter if it's a red bell pepper or a green bell pepper. It don't matter. Y'all know I love the red ones if I can get hold of them. So, this just happened to be I had one left from the store the other day. So there's a red bell pepper. Now, a large onion. Cut him in half, okay? Then turn him like this. You're gonna take it and cut it right there. And then you're gonna cut that in thirds. And that's it. That's how big a hunks you're gonna have. Okay, cut that in half. And cut it in thirds. And there you'll have your big onion pieces. Voila! There is our chopped vegetables for it, okay? So now, all I gotta do is get my um, butter heating on the stove. I'm gonna put my butter heating on the stove and we'll transfer over to here and I'll show y'all how I go about doing that. All right, here we are. My butter is just about melted. That's melted good enough. Got my skillet on high right now. We're just gonna take our vegetables and get them dumped in there. Okay, so right here, uh-oh. Right here at the very beginning, y'all, you want your uh, skillet on high when you first start off with it, okay? You want your, your fire on high in there. So what we're gonna do is just take it and Kind of toss our vegetables around in there like this, right? Toss them around and uh, get them all coated in your butter. First things first. Get them good and coated. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just let them sit here, y'all, on. I, I'll turn my fire down to 
not quite all the way down to medium, okay? In between high and medium on there, right? And uh, I'm just gonna come by every now and then. We're not gonna do nothing with it right now. We're not gonna add no seasonings, none of that stuff or anything at this point. Right now, we just wanna get our vegetables where they are starting to cook a little bit, okay? Really, all we're shooting for is to get them fork tender, where I can take this spatula and I can just cut one of them in half like that. That's when we're gonna add our tomatoes and green chilies and all our seasoning, okay? So, walk away from them. Just go ahead and do your other stuff. Let them cook, sit there. You ain't gotta stand here and baby them. Just let them, let them sit there and cook on that medium heat in that butter. And this takes longer than any other part of it, is getting your vegetables cooked down a little bit. You're not trying to saute them and brown them or none of that. That's not what you're trying to do. You're just wanting to get them somewhere between steamed and I don't know. Anyway, halfway in the middle. <laughs> so let's let them cook. Y'all, there's the chickens. There's Fabio. <laughs> let me see if I look at him. He's such a sweet boy. He takes care of his girls. Look how pretty he is. Oh my goodness. Look at him. <laughs> I mowed yesterday, so they are loving being in the yard. You can probably hear Buzz down there, but I don't think you can see him down on the way. He's a... Let's see if I can do it. No, it won't let me... No, I can't do my finger on it somehow or another. How's that work? No, anyway. He's down there tilling in the garden. Um... Uh, Anyway, it's been, it's just been a beautiful day, like I said today. Everything all across the way there. Buzz has got both his gardens he's working on. Getting everything in the ground. All that. So, <laughs> we just get a kick out of these chickens. I thought I'd show them to y'all while that squash was cooking. Fabio, he's a sweet boy. Look at him. He'll keep them, he takes care of them, y'all. It's so cute to sit on the porch and watch them. They are entertaining. I guess that's country life, right? You gotta love it. There's mom and daddy's stones across the way on the tank dam way over there. Both of their headstones are out there. And then back behind those benches you see. Oh, that was mama's favorite little fishing tank. She loved catch her some perch in there. But anyway, that's looking down our drive, looking up our drive towards the highway. Oh, our poor flag. I got to get another flag for it. That drives me crazy. I can't stand that. Anyway, life is good on the farm, y'all. There's our little camper. We're going to be getting ready to go on a trip in a couple weeks. I'm going to be out of pocket on this thing. All right, so I come back in. I'm gonna give it a stir now. See, I hadn't even stirred it since I walked out on the porch. So I'm gonna give it a stir. Let all them ones on the bottom come up out of there. And it'll start, uh, you can feel this skillet up mounded, y'all, because it's gonna cook down, right? That's what they do is they cook down in there. I wish y'all could smell this already. The smell of the freshness of all this cooking is just, I tell you what, if we love vegetables, y'all. Me and Buzz couldn't make it without our vegetables. I don't know how people do that. We eat a lot of meat, but we got to have our veggies too. There we go. Okay, stirred up nice. Leave them alone. So they're about halfway through, so I'm going to go ahead and take my lid and put on there, and that helps them speed up the process of getting them cooked a lot better for you. So, you know, let them cook for, you know, about four minutes or so uh, without the lid on it when you first start it, and then give them a stir, and then put the lid on them, and we're going to let them cook. Same heat, temperature, everything. Just let them keep cooking like that for, I don't know, probably three or four more minutes till we can get them poked with the fork. All right, so let's take this lid off. 
and see where we're at. Oh, yeah. See, that's been about, like I say, about three or four minutes. They're ready now. Look, see, I can just take this spatula and just cut through it like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now it's time for all the goodness. All right. You take your can of your Rotels. Don't drain them. Your can of Rotels. You're going to put them in there. <clears throat> if you don't have Rotels, you can use stewed tomatoes, y'all. You can. But the Rotels are the best in it. Okay. And now my little can of my green chilies. Oh, they're so good in it. Now, I need me some black pepper. Oh, lots in there. Okay. And some salt. Okay. And last but not least in here right now, anyway... A little bit of garlic powder. Don't go overboard on it, but you want a smidgen of it in there to bump that flavor up, but not override your um, vegetables, all your fresh vegetables. Okay, now, we're going to take it, stir it all up in there, and all that liquid juice in there, y'all, mm, mm, mm. That is so good. So good. Okay, look how beautiful it is, too. It's a beautiful dish. Old country dish, y'all. Definitely country cooking on this one. Okay, I've got it stirred up like that. Now, we're going to put the lid back on it for another three to four minutes. And let it sit there and cook with those uh, tomatoes and peppers in it. I am going to back my fire down a little bit now. A little under medium. Alrighty, I bet we're there. I bet we are there. I know we are. Okay, look. I'm going to turn it all the way down to low. Now, we're going to give it a stir. Just like that. Okay. Make sure everything's mixed good through and through there. And y'all, the last thing we want to do is get our cheese. That's all there is to this dish, y'all. Get my cheese over here. Eight ounce block of grated cheddar. Take it and just start sprinkling it over the top. Just like that. All over the top of it. You can put as much cheese on there as you want. Because it's going to melt and go down in there with all those juices and stuff. And, oh, it melts down in there. But yet it does like cheddar does and, you know, coats the top of it. It's really good on there, y'all. Just like that, okay? Now, look. Turn my fire off. My fire's off. Put my lid on it. And we are ready to walk away from it. That's all we got to do, y'all. That's it. I will let it melt down on there and show y'all, you know, how it looks when it uh, gets all melted and gooey and everything in there and stuff. But y'all, this is cheddar pepper squash. This stuff is delicious. I can't say that enough. Oh, I threw some carrots out there in the backyard and the little red birds are tearing them up. <laughs> I love it. I love you guys. Listen, we'll come back. And I'll show y'all the end results with it after a while. But just walk away from it now. You can go do what you want to. Another thing, y'all, we have some beautiful, beautiful sunsets out here on the hill. God always paints us a beautiful picture every evening around here. Alrighty, I figured I'd wrap this video up for y'all. Show you up close. Looky there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Y'all. I'm not storing to you. This stuff is delicious. I just want to get me some and take it up so you can just get it like this. 
I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let me try something else. There, I can handle my skillet better. But you just get up under it like this. And get those vegetables and that cheese. I shouldn't have got me a holy spoon. I, I want to get some of that juice in there. That juice is good, y'all. But this stuff is just absolutely heavenly delicious. I want y'all to see it. Now, look at this. That's it, y'all. That's your cheddar pepper squash right there. And when that squash starts coming in, you get your zucchinis in and your uh, yellow squash and get some bell peppers and onions and all. Mm, 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 mm. It's a good way to utilize them. And it's a delicious way to eat them. So, uh, hey, I want y'all to try it. Y'all let me know, you veggie lovers out there, okay? You know, this is Buzz is going to be a happy man tonight because Mama made this. But anyway, y'all have a good uh, weekend, the rest of the evening and a weekend and all. And uh, y'all give this uh, a recipe a try. And uh, I'm going to rest up tomorrow, y'all. I think I'm going to rest up. I've been busy, busy, busy. If I do anything, I might make a dessert, but I don't know. I think I'm going to rest. Remember last time, good Lord was telling me I need to rest. <laughs> Thank y'all for everything. It is going so good. I'm so excited and I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for everybody being so nice and everything. There's just, I mean, it just, it's getting to where I can't keep up with y'all on here uh, answering everybody. So I guess that's a good thing. But anyway, I love you guys. God bless all of you. Y'all take care of each other and uh, stay blessed. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.